<laughs> hey Twitch, we are back for the next part of our show for tonight. Uh, probably hey. final part of our show, I guess. We're getting an hour and twenty left. Um, and we have just kicked some ass, taken some names, and rescued some prisoners. Travis, what's going on? Yeah. So, um, so you guys were uh, finishing up with uh, with Nephany and these um, elves that you're freeing, and um, and Jimmy, I know you were kind of talking a bit. Um, do you like go down with the the rest of the group and sort of figure out what's going on, or are you up there with uh, with um, uh, Thea and Fawn, um, sort of figuring out uh, the next place to go? It was only like a minute ago that we saw some big ass minotaurs walk into the hallway, so I'm yeah. on guard. <laughs> like, yeah, this is no. a good point. Yeah, like. I let them go down there thinking that we have a moment, but I'm I'm readying myself to for anything that comes through the doorway or the hallway. All right. So maybe I um, maybe I even check it out. I guess like take a peek in at some point. Yeah. So uh, if you guys want to like take some time and do any healing or anything, you you appear to to have a moment. Um. So Caben, you you send. Uh, Nephany and the the rest of these pr prisoners away. Um, I think you said, uh, Nina, that you were giving some of them weapons, uh, any spare stuff you had on you. Um, yeah, I can't access the stuff. Yeah. Um, cool. So yeah, everyone should hopefully be able to see their HP here. Um, if you want yeah. to uh, to use some healing, want to, to update that, go ahead. Uh, but otherwise, we're going to be continuing on in a second. So yeah. um, you, you guys have a moment to yourselves. I am oh, good okay. to go. I'll drink a potion of that. At yeah, I mean, yeah. Do, you, do we want to give both potions? Nope. Okay. I don't. <laughs> oh, dang. Nice. <laughs> dang. Well, I mean, I'll, I'll hold on to the other one if you want. Okay, want. well... Yeah, I was just thinking, uh, Durian, since you can do healing, do you want to give someone else the potion to hold on to it? Actually, yeah, I give it to you, Caben. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, and then do you guys want Mizuni no, no, to I use any get... of her healing? I mean, I... Mm, I mean, I won't she's got be grudging. Spells. Oh, sorry, what, Travis? I was just going to say, she's got healing spells along with whatever you guys have, so... Yeah, yeah, um, Mizuni has some uh, cure wounds. Up. Yeah, I give you I give you the other potion, Josh. Yeah, yeah. that's a better choice. Um, like Mizuti could do Caben and the uh, just like from touch up because the archers did get hurt a little bit. I'm looking okay. I got a uh, I got sixty one. You took away your temp HP, right, Kevin? Um, I think that was just hit dice, wasn't it? Yes. Oh, he was HP. That. Oh, he, he lost, lost it. it already. He took a swing. Yeah. And got hit. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> cool. Okay. And I'm only down one hit point. It's not worth the spell. Yeah. All right. Cool. So if uh, if you guys are good, I hope that good um, then we can continue on. All right. So so you guys are um, you you freed the prisoners. Um, some of the kobolds and goblins ran out with the shackles on just left um none of these shackles had like locks they were just welded to the prisoners so um oh, you'd have to break them out anyway. yeah yeah just i guess not welded to them but welded closed so um yeah uh you, you guys free uh the the few elves there are only like three or four of them in here um and i think other than nephany you guys don't immediately recognize anyone uh the two of you that uh that have met them before Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, you you guys uh, hurry on your way, um, and are you like heading out the the tunnel? I guess so. I think so. I'll tell everyone that if we run into quite a bit of trouble with the Minotaurs, to not hold back. What? <laughs> like, no. like the WMD was effective. We should probably keep that up, <laughs> even if oh. it even at the expense of the dragon that we have to fight. Just to say, better to use fireball. some. <laughs> better, to, better to use some resources than to hold on to it and have to use other resources and healing. Okay, do I speak for Violet too, or do you, Travis? 
Uh, I, I guess I would. Like, do you want to ask her something? No, she. They're addressing. Don't use up the WMDs. I'm guessing that she would like to. Uh, withhold as much of her power as possible for the most dire situation. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Like. So I like, say some. She says something along those lines. Yeah. Of course. Um. But yeah, you guys have free reign of the resources. Um. So yeah. Cool. Um. Awesome. So unless anyone wants to do anything else. Nope. We march forth. You guys head out the tunnel. And um and uh this tunnel uh goes for, for quite a ways. Um it snakes around a bit, um, but is fairly straight. Um it's lined with these kind of alchemical sconces that uh that you guys saw on your way in. And um eventually it leads to um another uh trap door and as uh as you pop it open um it appears to open up into a uh, a small um a uh, a small like ruin it's like the the base of a tower long collapsed um there's rubble strewn about uh the rocks are are um smooth with age and rain and and uh growing moss um and you step out into kind of a, a marshy swamp. Um, but you immediately realize it's different than where you guys um, came in. Uh, the temperature is um, is much warmer than it was uh, when you entered the, the swamp in Cien. Um, the, uh, the, like, sky overhead is um, in a different, like, time of day than you would expect from where you came in. Um, but the most striking thing is the uh, the sounds. Um, on one side, you hear um, waves kind of uh, crashing in. Um, and you can look over uh, to the south, and you see, like, um, far off, kind of down a bit of an incline, uh, is the ocean. Um, an ocean that you couldn't see when you entered the, the swamp in Cien. And then to the north is something that most definitely you haven't seen before. Um, you see uh, huge mountain peaks looming in the air, um, and from them uh, rises um, smoke. Uh, there are a, a trio of volcanoes to the very far north, just on the periphery of your vision. Um, as far as any of you know, there are no volcanoes um, anywhere near Cien. Oh, yeah. I, I, oh. Dur Durian Wait, Durian yeah. pipes up. Yeah, Durian pipes up, and he says, "I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that we are uh, across the ocean a bit." Um, are you sure? I thought we might have just been. Hmm. I mean, Tropi I figured that we were. We know that the Isle of Laurent is tropical. I thought we were in Ar Ariana ish, actually. Mm, not with the ocean. And Venric hinted. Yeah. Venric hinted about the Isles of Laurent, right? Yes. You see, that's and where he's that, that's where he's done, everybody. And that's also, and that's all. Also, where Lady Nefish was from, and where the lizard, undead oh. lizard creatures are from. I believe that she has oh. had a method of quick passage from I continent to continent. We, I would bet. Um, yeah, can I, I'm going to make a quick bardic lore check, Travis. Sure. To see if I know of any, um, uh, volcanoes as sure, landmarks, basically. These would be pretty, pretty notable, so. Yeah, one would think. Uh, 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 I can't, I haven't done this in ages. Um... Bard level plus int modifier. So 10 plus 1. Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. Whoa. Yeah, um, there are several volcanoes in the world. Um, the the probably probably the most notable ones are um, uh to the very far north, kind of northeast of the world, as you look at this map, um, and they're in the uh, Isles of Valar, which have um, 
been broken up by some kind of catastrophe millennia ago and are still left um kind of smoking and spewing um hot magma into the uh the sea um and the others are uh in the isle of laurent um you're quite correct uh the the island is noted for its um massive volcanoes for its curiously hot temperatures despite being like far in the the southern hemisphere and um the strange creatures that that roam the land um large reptiles that most people have never seen yeah i quickly sketch a i quickly recite like a maybe a line from like a three or four word word poem about the isle the islands of valar and i say i don't think we're you know it talks about cataclysm and desolation i'm like i don't think we're there i think we're in i think this is how one gets to and from laurent without paying the uh the ferry tax at least one way uh-huh. anyway not to mention the import taxes from getting ore from all the way here if there's stuff here as well mm. i would guess that this is that the uh, the mine we just left was on our continent, but that the refuge with which the black dragon retreats to is on this island. It would make sense about how a dragon could safely establish a criminal network and then remain relatively unknown. Um, yeah, and I think at that, Violet speaks up and she says, you know, Durian, I think we could actually be anywhere i should say the mine could be anywhere think about it we we entered a magical entrance to get into the mine and another one to get out mm. if we're if we're on laurent oh hi puppy <laughs> <laughs> if if we're on laurent and we started in cn that mine could be in either or in neither mm, the deep dwarves she's, seem she's interesting she's got a point actually the deep dwarves seem interesting. Perhaps it is more towards your homeland, Fawn. Smuggling all out of... I'm sorry, Fawn, where do you live again? Not anywhere near here. <laughs> yeah, Fawn, I'm, sorry, that's... I'm not familiar with mm. your location. I'm sorry. Well, this certainly isn't it. Uh, and Fawn uh, explains that she's from an area called uh, uh, Letherin in Revenonk, or... Was it vice versa, Travis? Did I no, Revenonk. You're right. You're, in, you're right. Yeah, Revenonk is the yeah. the kind of kingdom. Country. Okay. Yeah. So and, perhaps uh, the town is Letherin. It could be any anywhere. Variable. It could. It's it's merely speculation. Vi, it's not really important, but I don't think that a well-established carved quarry would exist under the ocean, for example, unless this criminal organization is thousands of and millennia older than we imagine. It she would take she ex- shakes her head and says, no, I wouldn't think so, but it could be here, it could be there, it could be all the way over in the the salt flats of the sonorous desert. Who knows? No, I, I get what you mean by, I mean, if we can get ported to one place, we could easily get ported to another place where the mine is. Doreen's right. It, it doesn't matter. We're Somewhere else now. We need to keep moving forward. We need to yeah. be on our guard. The wildlife here, dead or alive, is quite dangerous. Yes, and ironically... You should lead, Nina. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I look at you, and I sigh, and I look at Kendra, I'm like, I think you're going to lead anyway. Did you have the potion? Everyone just... Yeah, I know. Be cautious. We have a goal, end goal in mind, and it it's literally and figuratively a long way to get back to safety. <laughs> we're, we're far from any aid that we can trust. Wherever we are. Yeah, and I, I think as you, you say that, you see, like, off in front of you, there's, like, a, a pool of water to the right and some, like, um, kind of deadwood trees uh, to the left. And, like, you see some, you know dog-sized lizard thing hopping around um, going toward the water and it kind of uh, it spots you and there's like a hiss and uh, like a frill on its neck goes out 
And then there's a, like, giant splash, and the, the little thing turns around just too late as a, like, massive serpentine head snaps out of the water and uh, gets it in its jaws. Looks cool, a bit like Cool, don't go that. near the water. Cool, don't go near the water. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna hey, need man. we're gonna need muscle up front, and we're gonna need our best trackers to look out for swamp uh, pits, for vines that aren't uh, vines. I'll have you know, yeah. my perception is unmatched. <laughs> yeah, uh, Cave and Thea, Fawn, any sign of the stupid? Didn't you know you got cheese some... robot that ran out in the minute towards? Yeah, can we, uh... uh yeah, I was gonna say we're gonna need that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the, the hallway didn't have any, uh, branches or, um, or, uh, alternate entrances or exits that you saw. Um, it just came straight here, so, uh, yeah, give me survival checks, the both of you. Mm. <laughs> oh, you want survival. Mm-hmm. Which I believe on page. It's totally uh, a range thing. Yeah, need a heading to travel in. All right. So oh. Oh. I think I got it with a thirty-one. Nice. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, yeah. Um, you are definitely uh better at tracking than. Jeeves was at sneaking, and um, and yeah, you you see some like very obvious Jeez. um, like two toed um very mechanically cut uh footprints going through the uh the swamp and along a um, uh it would be maybe well hidden to mundane eyes, but for you you know a game trail is a is a you know a a street sign practically uh, along a very uh, obvious trail um snaking its way through the marsh hmm. all right let's go so so Caben, i think you see it but i think fawn's like you you say here's a track and fawn's like 10 steps ahead yeah of like, hey i found it and fawn's like i found the path She's like, she's like, they yeah. stuck together. They seem to be moving at moderate pace, and it's like already <laughs> gone. <laughs> um, awesome, cool. So you guys uh, track your way through this marsh, um, and uh, and you like um, break into a uh, a large clearing, and you see um, ahead of you a uh, a group of creatures. Oh no! What are you doing oh, down there? Um, and these creatures, uh, look pretty familiar to you. Uh, um, no so I, I think, like, you, you break out of this, um, copse of trees, and I think they, you see them, and I think they spring out. Um, so everyone, please arrange yourselves as you will. Um, you guys see in front of you an, oh uh, array God. of hobgoblins... Um, to the front, uh, one, um, uh, one remaining, uh, construct and these two massive minotaurs, um, one of whom is in front of this strange contraption with a pulley wheel and some ropes, um, and I think it's a good time to roll for initiative. It's like a repeater. Oh, oh no, they're over there. Yeah. Um... Yeah. So you guys Hi. might want to zoom out from where you are. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, let me let's zoom out. before I arrange Reap. myself. Reap. All right, let's start initiative. Let's do this. I suppose Vi can set that thing on fire. <laughs> we I can't out. tell you till you try. We've gotta find out. How far into the oh, clearing do we really get? Really scary. Or far like, into this area. No further than that. So okay. kind of arrange yourselves in that corner somewhere. Okay. Um, Travis, is this like tree here? Is it a tree? Like, can we see through it, or is it super? Heavy you can. Cover? Um, it's uh, there's some cover, but I think it's tall enough that you can see like the construct and this minotaur is up on a hill with this big thing. This okay. big thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Cool. So let's get some initiative on the thing. Okay. Oh, well. Wow. Oh, no, that's Caden's tracking. Uh, and where'd Caden go? I'm there. 
Where are you? I'm right behind hey. Fallen Arthia. Oh, the... when I zoomed out, it won't let me scroll now. There we go. Yeah. I got a 17. Oh, no. There we go. Oh, my gosh. Okay. It's Travis. <laughs> yes. Whenever you add someone, it, like, doesn't let me press enter for my <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I typed 17 in, like, six times. Okay. And the mysterious blank hobgoblins. I was just fixing that. Okay. <laughs> Is um, this a cool. stupid question, but do I recognize this as the forged bowman that the the construct that I sent to go find the uh, the gnome? Almost assuredly. <laughs> yeah. I call out and I say uh, I call out and I say The jig is up, green hair. You may as well just give in. We're gonna fuck you. Oh shit! He went at the same time as I did. Oh, okay, well, I don't know if we yeah. want to do so, that. So Nina, yeah. I think you have the better uh, modifier. So I think you go at first. plus one. Yeah. So I mean, have a talk about what we're doing here. All right. Okay. So no time. is there a clean shot on this guy? Is clean a shot with what? <laughs> a bow. Uh, yeah. I think you can get your your bow out. Yeah, because I'm just going to stay at Elvis. Focus fire. <laughs> Bring it down. That looks Bring it down. Scary. Scary. Get to the chopper. Gonna... Yeah, I shout back like... like... I shout back, we got you covered, Nina. Oh, I mean, I ain't moving towards it. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you, uh, you fire off your bow... And a 27 is a hit. Nice. You deal him 8 damage. Uh, I think that's the next one. 16? 16, yeah. it. Uh, I think it like bounces off the front rack of whatever this thing he's on is. All right, and then all five footsteps Misses. are there. Cool. And... <laughs> Shield up. Shield up. Nice, yeah, That'll so work. you get Kendra um, up in front of you. Awesome. Meat shield. Cool. Because I think uh, I probably pissed it off, sorry. <laughs> yeah. The Minotaurs, uh, this one at the far side bellows and starts moving toward you all. Uh, ooh, I have to zoom in a bit more. Sure, you go. sure it's not afraid and it bellows and moves away from us? I think it joins it, our it, side. It, it finds it better grazing not. pastures. I think it does not. The does pastures does are like, not always greener. I think it realizes um, the air does of its ways. Does he suddenly turn gray and become a certain minotaur we all know and becomes our ally? Um, no, because he was brown. Yeah, Larry um, was brown. So yeah, yeah uh, he moves toward you while this one uh, starts cranking um, this wheel, and you hear just like a series of click, 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 and it gets faster. And you see as he's spinning it, he like turns the entire contraption toward your group and slams down a lever. And where you were hearing click, 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 now you hear. Oh my god. Um, so I would like, uh, <laughs> let's see, this is 4x4, four four, so let's go, that looks good. I would yeah. like uh, everyone in that square to make a dexterity saving throw. Alright. And just do d20s <laughs> for your companions. Just flat? Dex. Just right. flat. Uh, you I'll, mean I'll tell you reflex what saving okay. throws? Reflex saving throws. Thank yeah. you. Different edition. This is for me. And then this is for Thea. Oh, fuck. 18? Okay. Mm, plus 12, though. This is for me. And let's Came say that uh, your companions will have half of whatever you do as a bonus. Oh, cool. Okay. This is Mizuti, That'll make then. it simple. 
So eighteen seventeen and wow. Nice. So everyone except Thea succeeds. Um so So you all take uh, this much piercing damage, half as much on a successful save. So I take zero damage, right? Because I have lightning reflexes? Um, if that's a thing you have, and that is what it does, then that Ooh, would be true. Ooh, took 21 uh, damage. But I, so, uh, Caveman's Drys has got the skill mixed up. It's evasion. Oh, I have evasion, evasion too. That okay. he has. Okay. That's what I have. And is that a feat, or is that a ranger thing? It is a ranger uh, thing. Okay. It's a ranger and rogue thing, yeah. Ranger level 9, you get evasion. If you succeed on a reflex save, you take zero damage, and if you fail, you get cap damage. Nice. Yeah, so... Wait, so... so um, would is she a technically level 9? She is like a fighter. D- oh, she's a fighter. Just consider her huh? to be a general thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But Mizuki, um, so Mizuki yeah, takes eight, half this, right? So I take yep. none, sweet. Okay. Nice. Yeah, eighteen. So what is, is the, this the thing? Number to hit. Like, what it? What exactly? It's this, is it? Yeah, you see these wheels turning and pulleys going, and it looks like just this giant crossbow machine gun. It's just shooting, um, dozens and dozens of uh, crossbow quarrels into an area. Oh, it's like uh, Vala from Here's the Storm. Her alt thingy. I will spinder. trust that that is true. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, so uh, Mizuti then would take 10, and Thea takes 21 damage. Yeah, Mizuti just took 10, okay. Um, clarification? Yes. When I click on Mizuti, I have green is health, blue yes. is mana, what is red? AC. Ah, okay. That's our armor you. class. Okay. Yep. Yeah, cool. So, uh, that is them. Uh, Kaben... Mm. Um, can I get a good look at this crossbow repeater thing? Like, yeah, it's on wheels, so we can turn left or right. Can he aim up and down? Um, I mean, you see, he's like uh, lifting it with one arm. Um, it, it seems to be adjustable. Yeah, to some okay. extent, it's and tough to know. You're you're pretty far away from that, it. That's true. Um, can can I see if like? Since he shot this, like, how, are arrows exhausted, or are there more arrows he can just keep on rotating? I think, yeah, he's, like, he, um, I think, uh, he, uh, that's a good question. He shot a volley at you, and okay. he seems to be continuing to crank the thing, but, um, no more quarrels are coming out right now. Okay. okay you have, cool. like, two seconds to study this. Yeah, yeah, sure. So my brief thing, that's what I see. Okay. Um, okay, I'm gonna use my action to set up Hedwig with a flask of alchemist fire. Okay. Sure. Um. Yeah, so you, like, take a, you know, move action to pull that out of your bag or whatever. Yeah. And then, like, um... Hand it over to her. Uh, that's probably going to be like your full turn. Yeah, that makes you can sense. give her a command. That's to... yeah, that totally makes sense. So my my command, I, I kind of like give her the old little uh, signals we've been working out. I want her to yeah. like go this way and then this way. So kind of like a a loop around, not straight sure. to it. Okay, cool. Yeah. And, so I yeah. will get you an owl. Cool. And then drop. Obviously, totally. drop the aquas fire. Not on the. I mean, I want to sort of aim for the actual contraption, not the Minotaur. Yeah, so I will give you control of that. We'll say it starts there. Perfect. And I think she can fly at 40, so... Uh, yeah. Let me pull up her sheet. So I will do that, and controlled by Caven. Save. Cool, so can you grab her and move her? Uh... Switch the right tool. Yes, I can. Awesome. Cool. So yeah, she can move uh, forty this turn. Uh, then she can double move. You know, after she's like, uh, you know, when she has a full turn. Sure. Sure, to, sure. 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 She has to take a turn, like grabbing this thing and, and yeah. getting taken. Do you want her to go my turn? Do you want to roll their initiative? Mm. 
Your turn. Let's okay. make this simple. Yeah, I was going to ask that. Okay, cool. So she, she does that, and uh, so yeah, so she'll get ready to move next turn, I guess. Cool. Um, Mizzou... she, she can move 40 now. If, oh, if okay. Want. Yes, yes, I would like that. Okay, so she gets right there. Cool. Uh, yeah, and then Mizuti, uh looks a bit like a pincushion. She got her shield up, but um, not as quick as she could have. Yeah, she's not um, looking too good. Um, she took 10 damage, so she got a arrow yeah. two sticking on her. Um, I did think... you reduce that already? I did. You did. Yeah. Okay. So I think first we're just gonna like kind of spread out because we don't want to take another volley of arrows. Um, so mm -hmm. she's gonna thirty feet, I guess, right here. Kind of follow behind uh, Hedwig a little bit. Sure. And uh, she is going to let loose an arrow at this hobgoblin, I guess. Sure. Go right ahead. Yeah. Um, attack. Oof. Go. Uh, 14 is not a hit. All right. Yeah. Cool. Faunal and Thea. Um, uh, Thea looks pretty bad. Uh, she, she took a bad yeah. hit. Um, quite a few of these quarrels are uh, pierced through her armor. Um, some not too deeply, but I think there's like one in her hip and um, oh, one sort of in her like shoulder. Uh, that that look pretty bad. Um, so I am going to cast Sh shit. No, I'm not because I don't have it prepared. I am going to my favorite spell. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I can't even do that. I already used it on myself. I think. Did I use bark skin last time? I'm pretty sure I did. Uh, yeah, I, I did. I did. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Uh, it would have worn off by now, by the yeah, way. No. Unless it lasts more than no. ten minutes. Uh, uh, I'd actually. I I guess it would have to last at least a half an hour. Um, which, if it does, you might still. Have it's, it. I'm not worried about me. I'm worried about her. Is the issue? Yeah, she looks bad. Um, I don't have cure wounds prepared, and I also already use bark skin, so I can't even put that on her. Um, I tell her to just uh you know, kind of run off and find safety, you know, stay close by so that she can still hear us, but you sure. know, maybe, maybe, like, could you say she's slightly off screen so that she could still fire arrows, but, like... So, so tell you what, she can either stay within kind of the area of the map and be able to fight, or she can run off to safety but be too far away to engage effectively. Uh, I want her to stay and fight, right? Okay. Um, so she, what is she fighting with again, Travis? Is it a longbow or a short Longbow, bow? yeah. It's a longbow? Okay. Um, this is really far. Oh, it's not as bad as I thought. Okay, um, she is going to shoot at this creature, this very, very angry <laughs> hobgoblin over here. <laughs> so All she right. moved, so she's only going to get one attack. Yep. So his first attack is 24. Uh, 24, yeah. She hits him. Alright, she's going to do 10 damage. And that's Ooh, all she's going to do. I just want her to be safe. Um, he looks badly injured already. Nice. I'm glad. Um, so, I am then going to also... Um, fuck. I'm going to use a short bow. Um, to well, can I assume that this this area of effect thingy is is like done now? Yeah, it's like like the the big repeating crossbow thing, uh, has has stopped firing at you. It stopped raining down for a moment. Okay, I'm gonna try and stay a little bit separate from people and just move slightly up here. And I'm gonna shoot sure. at. It's uh, 60 feet is short bow, is it? Uh, I believe. Oh, it's seven. Short bow? The range, it says 70 slash... Well, I don't know what Travis went to put here. I don't know what the <laughs> fuck that's supposed to be. Uh, me. A short bow has a range of 60 feet. Okay. Oh, I don't know why a composite bo short bow has a range of 70. 
Ah, okay, so it must be composite then, because you put 70. All right, that sounds about right. We will save that. Okay, so I am going to shoot at the same hobgoblin that she shot at. Mm -hmm. So we are going to do uh, d20 plus 14. Nice. 31. 31. Oh, the okay. magic number of the knights. And I just do a d6. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. It is three. Three damage. was enough. Boom, oh, was it? He is Sweet. down. Cool. So, uh, so you and Thea are done. Keep in mind, you've been hauling along. Um, you haven't used it yet. Uh, I guess when you left um, Firefoot, do you still have the lance with you? Yeah, absolutely. I already used it okay. uh, in the, awesome. the last battle thing. Yeah, because we, we have that okay. uh, freaking flying carpet thing. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. So, yeah, you, you... Cool. Just wanted to make sure you still had that on you. Maybe we Excellent. should use that. Uh, yeah, Durian, I think we can still use charges. You, and, you and Violet see this rain of like crossbow quarrels down, come down on four of your friends. Several of them come out injured. What uh, do you do? Yeah, that's a big nope. Uh, what's the range on Violet's fireball? <laughs> uh, like 400 feet. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. It's like she can hit anything on this map. And some. And some. Uh -huh. yep. It's four hundred feet plus level something something. It's it's I think it's it's long. Four hundred plus forty per level. Something. Yep. She can hit anything you see. What can she see? can she see the Minotaur with the repeater right now? Um yeah, I think she can see him through the trees. No, she you know, she she's, can explode she, a fireball at his feet if she so wished. She's kind of afraid of this uh, minotaur kind of running towards us anyway. Mm. She, she's going to run up here. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think she has a bit better view now. Yeah. Is she mm -hmm. lining up the shot? She is. She shot it. Oh. <laughs> like how it was delayed there. Not bad. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The problem eight. with WMDs is there's a limited stock of them, guys. Yeah. yeah. So um, you can tell me where to put this circle. Because that is the fireball's AOE. Well, can I move it? Uh, I don't think you can move it, but you can tell me where you'd like it. Uh, the center of it, right there. Okay, like right here? I think, I think, yeah, I think he clicked like that or something, Travis. So, I think, trying to get this. So, is this about what you're, oh, took him along with. Is that what you're looking for? No, that's further left than I was looking for. Okay. Um, I, I, you know what? Here, I'll, I'll make it easier for you. Ready? Yeah. Matt, uh, I'm going for these two guys. Okay, cool. You just want to get the full effect on the Minotaur, the big old repeater thing, and the, the robot? Construct. Yeah, the cool. construct. Awesome. Um, I'm sure I can't remove these now. Yeah, uh, you should be able to with the error. Yeah, there we go. So, boom, you lay it right on top of them. Um, cool, so roll that damage. I believe he has, Travis. He did. Oh, 29. Okay, yeah, so let me look. Because the repeater does have hit points. So I figured on this might be a thing. Um, cool, so you, you blow up the uh, the fireball... Um, you see the, the construct just fall to pieces. Um, nice. The Minotaur looks badly hurt. Um, badly singed, but not quite uh, quite out of the fight. And the repeater um, is charred. Several pieces are burnt off. I think you blow off like one of the wheels. Um, but you see the Minotaur 
continuing to turn the crank, and the mechanism still seems to be snapping and, and grinding, but working. Is it... It has hit points. Is it wooden? Yes. No. It's... I, I factored all the stuff in. Okay. It does not appear to be destroyed yet. No, but it doesn't catch fire, is what I'm saying. Um, if it... Uh, it... I, I, that might change your calculus for how... Okay, yep. that's fine. We'll let a dice roll decide. Cool. Um, Me. Yeah, so I, th I think it's like singed and charred. Uh, Durian, what are you doing? Uh, yeah, I snap my fingers and I go invisible. <laughs> awesome. And th that's not a bad choice. Uh, and then where oh, do you move? Really good. Uh... Yeah, I get the fuck away from everybody else, and I go down here. <laughs> also Bye. not a bad choice. Cool. Uh, sweet. And these hobgoblins, um, I think they start moving into position. Uh, probably away from the last fireball detonation. Uh, and uh, they all raise up um, longbows uh, and start taking shots. So, uh, I think... It looks like um, Fawn, Kendra, and Nina are in front. So, one, two, three, four of them fire off. So, Fawn, Fawn, Nina, Kendra. So, one shoots at Fawn, the second Ow. at Fawn, the third at Fawn. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so, they roll a definite miss, a uh, possible hit. Uh, and Fawn, what is your AC? Um, my AC is 102. <laughs> um, awesome. No, well, they kidding. roll a 20 and a 19. It's 20. So. All right. Uh, so one of them right? hits and one of them misses. Is that 20 with Boskin? No, it's off. That's done. Uh, no, Boskin actually lost 100 minutes. 100? At your level. 10 per level. Really? Oh, okay. Oh, Just kidding. Shit, then 22 you're... then. Your AC is 22, so the uh, second one bounces off of you. Yeah, Suck the buffs it. are pretty <laughs> good early on. They have good durations. Oh, shit, yeah. there's a fourth one. Um, so the fourth one no. shoots at... Me. At Kendra. <laughs> oh! Um, and no, no, the fourth her. one. The fourth one's dead. Oh, no, the, the one's dead. One. No, that was dead. five. The fifth one, got it. So cool. Uh, they fire off. Uh, the forged man is no more. Um, and I think as the uh, the battle is progressing, uh, you guys hear a sound. Um, Durian, it's a sound you've heard several times in your nightmares. A uh, sound you probably won't ever forget after hearing it um, after the death of a close friend. Um, you hear a, a strange oh, mixed roar hiss. And oh, um, I think we know? see... <laughs> I think we see down from the sky um, a green-haired gnome on its back uh, shouting up at the top of his lungs, Durian! Good to see you! Um, swoops down a massive... But you chimera. don't, you little shit. <laughs> Break out the miniature, Allison. Okay, trying to bring out the fireball. Yeah, <laughs> Put yeah. the knife. Um, so yeah, he swoops down. Let's get... Uh, <laughs> I love the Photoshop, well. Travis. It's beautiful. Uh, it's just two tokens it? on top of each other. So. Wait, what's, oh, what's the creature he's riding? A chimera? The chimera. chimera. Yeah, it's a chimera. I think that killed Allison's yeah. first character. No, Wait, I was just making sure. Is, is, I, this, I a, is this a live chimera? Or is it like the animated dead chimera that we killed? It is already? very much alive. Okay. Um, let's go add turn. And... This is dumb, Travis. <laughs> That's uh, okay, this time we get revenge. Uh, and I think you uh, you see it flying in uh, from far to the left. 
And it is the Minotaur's turn. Uh, so this one runs up um, and just charges straight at you, Nina, um, and tries uh, to gore you Travis. with it. Yes? Uh, weren't me and Kendra on top of the order? Uh, but this thing just were. flew in. You were. Sorry. You and yeah. Kendra uh, are in the top of the order. I, th I think the auto thing is... Yeah, it, it just goes. Probably because of alphabetical. It's, it's the alphabetical yeah. thing, because M is for N. Yep. That's it. So, uh, Nina. That's okay. You totally don't know that's, what that guy's going to do. You and Kendra. It's okay, are. because Kendra was going to do the same thing to him. That moment. She charges at him. So it's like yeah, actually, this woman in black plate mail and this massive black minotaur in plate mail just go running at each other. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Because uh, you said our guys can move 30, right? Yep. Yeah, so she's going to charge in. Okay. Sword drawn, she's going to take a swing. Yeah, have at it. A 29. 29 is a hit. Uh, 15. Yeah, she slashes him badly. And then Nina is going to advance. Uh, I might go over here. And I'm just going to take one shot with my bow. And I'm going to try and finish this guy off. He does not look finish offable anywhere close. I mean, I could crit, Travis. I could hurt. You can hurt. I could hurt. You will try. You will try. Um, who are you shooting at? Never mind. I was shooting at the yeah, guy I shot before. It just, like, plinks off the Minotaur's armor. He doesn't even stop cranking the giant handle. As his turn comes around. Um, and he... Uh, slams another lever, uh, probably, like, breaks it off of the, uh, the charred, um, construct, and there's, like, a kachunk as, um, another set of quarrels load in and fire. Right there, where no one is? Nope, nope, <laughs> I'm trying to get it to move, come on. Come on. Right at me, come on. Come on, roll 20, why you do this? Fire it at me, Mr. Minotaur. I dare you. I can't grab the damn thing. There we go. Boom, JavaScript. Uh, so he spins it around and hits as many people as he can. Oof. So I'm going to need saves from, uh, n from Fawn and from uh, Violet. So, Jimmy, just make a reflex save, except it's half of your bonus. Yeah, bye, bye, bye. It's okay, I got a potion, I can come back and heal you. You said it's a reflex save I'm making? Yep. <sighs> oh, Ooh. that's tough. But I'm gonna take half damage, it's okay, because... Magic. Ooh. Do you take half damage on failed saves? Yeah. That's how evasion works. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's a pretty um, good skill to have. Yep. <laughs> oh, it round, round up or round down? Uh, round down. Round down. Always round down. Whoa! Damn. So, cool. I don't want that. So, I don't want that. So I want that for me, not for her. She yeah. makes the save, so you both take half damage. Uh, oh, jeez, not bad. Seven. Um, so you you both take seven damage. Not too bad. Oh my god. <laughs> At the meantime, uh, this Minotaur starts uh waving its axe at uh. She has Kendra. more HP than Durian does. I shouldn't be so worried. <laughs> um, and chops at her twice. Um, hitting her twice. Whoa. Uh -oh. oh, that's pretty painful. In a rain. Um, cool. So she hits her for... Uh, let's get the uh, great axe here. Uh, oh, for 19 and 21 damage. Oof. Oh! Um, 
and that's the Minotaur's turn. Um, this Chimera. I saying savage, brutal. <laughs> so this Chimera starts uh, flying in um, overhead, oh, dear. and you guys see the uh, the gnome. Did I lose the gnome? I think I lost the gnome. Yeah, the gnome's back there. Yep, there we go. He fell off the little Did shit. Did you group them at all, Travis? He falls, he dies. I did not, but I, I thought I select moved. Uh, so it starts buzzing in, uh, and from its back, um, you see the gnome um, pull out a wand. Oh, and he aims it at... See, he can't see Durian. So I am sorry, my dear. He would aim it at Miss Nina Alia. Uh, bring it on, Mr. Nair. Yeah, and uh, and you see a bevy of um, little bolts of energy uh, fly out of it. Yeah. Uh, and you take 16 damage as these magic missiles uh, explode into your chest. Not bad. Okay, then please bring him out of the sky. <laughs> I'll do my best. If you do, I will behead him instantly. Uh, and then the chimera roars. Oh, no. And let me check its breath weapon. I don't think it has one, Travis. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's, it's like, dead now, yeah. right now. It's dead now? It's dead now. Oh, but I, I don't want to insta-kill Nina. That would be me. So what happens... Uh, I mean, if it's it, got acid, it's not likely to insta-kill So So it actually hits a time warp and goes back in time and discovers itself in some tall grass in which it pops out and attacks some yeah. cleric, and we so, have a yeah. fucking paradox. You, you hear a, a draconic roar from the black head... The black dragon head of this chimera, as it breathes a line of acid at you. Um, you, it is acid, so you got a thing. Um, you take where's the acid damage? Oh, sure, I do a reflex save, Travis. Um, ah, uh, that's a good question. Uh, reflex save for half, yes. Nice. Twenty-two. That should do it. Twenty-two. Nice. nice. Um. God, where's the damage? Son of a... Chimera's breath weapon depends on the color of its head. Uh, so 22 is a save. There's the damage. So it does 3d8. Um, so it does... Uh, 8. So 15. So you take 7 damage. Not bad. Uh, no, I take 0 then. Nice. Yeah, so uh, what does it look like when your armor absorbs this, this acid damage that would normally hit you? Um, so obviously probably some of my outer cloth gets a little singed. And yeah. it's like, you see you see a thing of perfectly fine to stuff that actually got affected. And I just look at this gnome with the most vile of hatred. Nice. Um... Awesome. And then since we're about to get to the, the party, basically, our, uh, or the rest of the party, are we good to take a quick break? We have 20 Three, minutes left. 20 minutes. Oh, 20 minutes is it? Okay. Yeah, so. cool. yeah. In that case, we'll, we'll soldier through. Yeah. Um, yeah, so the, the Chimera starts flying in with the gnome uh, firing off magic missiles and the Chimera breathing acid. Um, Kaben. I got the gnome. All right. Just fucking kill. Fuck whatever the chimera <laughs> does to us. Kill the gnome. Oh, no, no, I mean, it's it's fifty fifty. You take out the chimera, the gnome is on the ground. All right, guys. Guys, guys. Kill come the on. gnome. Come on. Or or let him do whatever yeah. he wants on his turn. Let me turn. do what I want to do. Okay, so first things first. Uh, an advance headwig. I just. Okay. And so her, she can move on a full turn eighty for double, yep. right? Yep, forty okay. and forty if you wish. Cool, so she's going to move here for 40, mm. and then uh, another here for another 40. Okay. Cool, so she will get into bombing range next round. Next round, sounds good. I just found out Hedwig has better AC than I do. <laughs> Yo, nice. she's a small creature. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, it makes I'm sense. Weird that way. It makes sense. Okay, and then... Uh, Mizuti and I are both going to do a f just a five-foot step. Okay. 
a little shuffle step. Yeah, just to spread out. Just of... get a little further apart. There's a lot of air effects going on. We're trying to space ourselves out here. And uh, yep. we're both going to take aim at this kind of... So, I'm assuming the Chimera's kind of, like, up a little bit. Like, we can't aim for the gnome, can we? Um, you can. Yeah, he's visible on the back. He's not, like, trying to shrink down or use the Chimera as cover. Okay, I think we're both going to just aim for the Chimera. Um, so okay, Mizzou's cool. going to shoot her arrow first. Alright, give um, it a wing. So, attack on the Chimera. Here we... Oh, also... So yes. I ha I have a bonus of damage against dragons. If I aim for uh, the draconic okay. head, does that do anything? Uh, you can only find out if you try. Yeah. All right. All right. Mizuti uh, is gonna <laughs> Mizuti's gonna attack the Chimera. Here we go. Nineteen. A nineteen is a hit. Oh, nice. Oh shit. Okay, um, Mizuti's damage is five. Okay, nice. Total. Okay. Um, Kaben is going to... He's going to do a rapid shot. He's, line... He's lining up the shots here. So he's going to do a rapid shot, all three at the uh, Chimera. So here we go, first Let's shot. 27. Uh, 27 hit. is a hit. Okay, do my arrows flare, Travis? Uh, do they flare? I mean, is a chimera truly evil, or is it simply misunderstood? I believe it's truly evil. <laughs> I believe it's truly that, evil. That is a question that is obviously answered with evil. It's okay. evil as shit. Good. It's real fun. Uh, it takes 12 damage. Uh, 12, okay. Yep. Okay. Uh, another shot to the chimera for 20. 20 is a hit. Okay. Takes 14 damage. Nice. And the okay. final final shot on the Chimera is a 24. Hit. It takes 22 damage. Oh! Damn. Max damage! <laughs> nice! All right. um, it is looking a bit hurt, uh, but it is not dead yet. Okay. At least it looks hurt. I just realized I had the tab muted, and I was wondering what the bad music was. <laughs> My fault. My fault, guys. Okay, um, and that's all I can do. I've done everything. Nice. All right, the archers are done. What about the wood elves? Uh, looking up a spell real quick in case I want to use it. Um, I am going to have Thea attack the gnome. All right. She won't. She won't shoot that bitch hopefully so first attack is a 25 25 um is a hit oh, uh, actually sorry i was looking at the chimera 25 is a hit as 11 i doubt it but uh 11 is not okay so she does four damage to the gnome with shitty roll okay yep she but does I'm gonna, more damage to him, that's correct. I'm gonna do the same to him. I'm just gonna shoot him sure. with uh, with this bow here. Sure. It's uh, funny, I looked and I saw the four and I'm like... Alright. 20 non-natural. 20 is a miss. Oh, okay. Uh... Uh... Uh, okay. Well, that was unexpected. 26 is 26. gonna hit. Uh, not D5. One damage! Well, <laughs> you're working on it. And I insult his mother when I do it. Nice. Awesome. People confuse cool. your mother for a pineapple. <laughs> or something. Cause he's like green and he's got like green hair and he's like kind of yellowy skin. So like, I insult his mother. So nice. he goes and attacks me, and not. There you yeah. go. Uh, cool. So uh, that is the Elven Lady's turns. Uh, Sir Durian of House Burr, you're invisible to the world. What do you do? Um. 
I was going to go one direction, but now I'm going a different one. Um, You're a bad band anyway. Yeah. I'm just laying on the bad jokes tonight, guys. No, so. it was, I, I teed it up for you. It was not <laughs> unintentional. Yeah, I run over to double move to here and okay. stay invisible. Okay. And qu- and quiet. Yeah. I mean the chaos of battle you would be you would be hard to hear normally. Um but yeah, you're trumping through the the marshes is very difficult to pick up on. Uh so there's large jets of um acid flying towards Vi and I think she has some bad flashbacks. Um Yeah. So she's going to so one thing to keep in mind is that the fireball definitely damaged this big repeating crossbow thing, uh, but it hasn't destroyed it. Yeah, well, there's also a big fucking chimera with a powerful wizard on top throwing badass magic bolts on top. At least there are that... things and stuff all over this place. Yes, so she's she's gonna she's gonna. Dodge down to here. I could remember where I keep measuring. Damn it! Come on. Uh, measure out where you want to go, Duran. I did. There you, go. there you go. Yeah, I measured it. I was just trying to like remember the like token, and I kept pressing it wrong. Okay, and she's fireballing the uh, the uh, chimera. Okay. Cool. Seems important. Roll, man. Do it to it. She she points her her staff upwards and snarls something mm-hmm. highly high pitched and probably in gnomish. Yeah, thirty one damage. Thirty one, nice. Yeah, she points and um, a massive fireball erupts around the um, the chimera and the gnome, um, and I think we see a um. Uh, a burning, like, uh, tattered chimera falling to the ground, and we see a gnome jump off and, like, spread his arms wide, a big grin on his face, as he starts gently floating to the ground. What? Uh, so the, the chimera, um, like, hits the ground and, and just crashes and burns, while the, the gnome feather is falling. floating down. Yeah, feather fall, guys. Yeah, that's yeah. like, a, is the gnome going to be where he is? Shoot him out of the sky. He's, he's going to be where he is, still about 50 feet up. Shit. Vi's <laughs> by by uh, done, Durgan's done. Okay. Cool. So the, the hobgoblins, um... Durin, you're still invisible, right? Cool. So I think these hobgoblins then would move down and uh, and shoot at Vi. So these two would. Um, so we have a uh, 23 and a 9. So I think the 23 uh, hit. Hits. Yeah, hit and miss. Um, so she takes 4 damage. Uh, and then these couple would be moving around. Boop. And... Uh, and they both fire at uh, the nearest person in front, who would be Nina. Oh, there's one back there. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that is a 20 and a 17. One hit. Okay. Uh, you take another four damage. So Nina, you and Kendra are up. Okay. So this is where Ken- I sort yeah. of drop my Ken- bow. Kendra looks horribly injured. And yeah. you're, uh, you're there. I drop my bow, and as mm-hmm. I charge the goddamn body minotaur, I'm pulling out <laughs> my scythe. Oh yeah. Yep. It's so good time. Are seeing like the big old golf swing? Uh. Shit. Yeah, I think we are. So All here right. goes nothing. Probably a fifty-fifty or so chance, but we'll see. Nope. A 14 is a miss. Uh, cool, but Kendra's, uh, it's its up to her if she wants to, to do things and stuff. Um. Uh, 
Yeah, she's gonna go for it because in a position where Anne, we're not gonna hold out yep. on anyway. Cool. As I twenty-eight for eleven, seventeen? Question mark. Uh, the twenty-eight hits the uh, seventeen does not. So she de deals at eleven damage. All right, and then she'll five foot step down there. All right. Cool. All right. So the Minotaur's turns. Um. Yeah, I think. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Stop laughing. I mean, it is where I sort of hope I he think, uh, I think he's going to do it. Uh, we see the Minotaur at the top uh, turn this massive contraption that's smoking and ropes are starting to fly off, and it's at the end of its life. Damn and it. he turns it. And he turns it down. At his buddy. <laughs> Here. I know it. Uh, and yeah, he unleashes the last fuselade. Um, towards Nina and Kendra. Please make me reflex saves. Uh, so I got a six. Yep. <laughs> yes, you do. And, nope. Okay, oh, so we're getting... So you this. both take full damage as, as well. Oh, let's shit. see, the Minotaur. Oh, that's probably not enough. That's definitely not enough. All three of you take full damage. 25. Well, Jeez. I'm up. Kendra's down. Tra Travis is like, I'm done attacking these people that have evasion. <laughs> Fuck that. Uh, <laughs> that's, nice. Hopefully that's, I, 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 writ I wrote down what he would do, and it would be attack most enemies regardless of allies. <laughs> Literally, it's, right, it's written down. So shall it be written, so yeah. shall it be done. So Kendra's at negative 6. So She's not dead. Are. But she is dying. Um, <laughs> Nina, you're at 22 HP, and the Minotaur in front of you is peppered with bolts, but still Shit. alive. Uh oh. Um, and I think he would swing at you. Yeah. Well, that's so dodge, now. dodge now, like you, your life depends. Oh on. God! All right. So that is a net one. Oh so yes. We will see if he one. So he, he doesn't lose his weapon, uh, but his second swing is not that great. Um, but it is a 20, 21 total. That'll do it. That'll hit? Okay. Mm -hmm. So he does a shit ton of damage, but it's a lot of dice. He didn't roll that well. Uh, he does 15... 16 oh, total. I'm still up. I'm still up. <laughs> yeah, it's close. Until the gnome has fun. No, the gnome's still floating, dude. He's gonna be floating. Yeah, but he, he hit me with the one. He hit me with the one once. He's probably gonna shoot. I don't me think again. he can. I don't think he can float to the ground and yeah. cast spells. So, so the chimera, which we'll just replace that with the gnome. Now they were going at the same time. Okay. Uh, 19. Wait, did. Nina, did you and Kendra go? Yeah. Uh, okay. I missed. She hit once. Got it. Do I have number lock on? What the hell? <laughs> this guy in his number lock. <laughs> I don't, I, yeah, I think he just goes to zero, though. <laughs> not quite. <laughs> zero hit points, too? Uh, it's not letting me type anything in. Um, is it still connected for you guys? Yeah. Oh, yeah. my browser, the whole browser's frozen. That's interesting. I can still wheel around, though. All right, so I will... Um, I'll just leave the Chimera on. That's when yeah, the, the gnome is going. Fine. The Chimera crashes, and as the gnome is falling, you, um, you hear him laugh, and he, said, he says, Fenric wouldn't be happy if he saw that. And... Um, uh, I think he looks over at you, Nina, and blows you a little kiss. <laughs> and turns invisible, as I uh... Durian, do it now. 
Do it now, Durian. Do it now. I don't know what um, you want me so to do. So he would have he would have hit Go the dust. ground. He would have yeah, hit the ground, and then could he I could I judge? Could I judge? He's gone. Could you judge what? How long he, how long it was taking him to default the ground to see if he's. He he would have hit the ground this turn. And did he cast a spell in midair or on when he the moment he hit the ground? Um, like before he hit the ground. Hmm. I mean, peg the chimera, you might get lucky. Okay. All right. So he does some things. Caven. Travis, that was such a good target. I wanted to heal him. <laughs> Okay, um, is the, uh, repeater just shot to hell? Uh, yeah, I think at this point, like, it, it's damaged enough that it just, like, it's falling apart in his hands. Um. Okay. Can I, uh, give an old whistle to, uh, Hedwig to have her aim for the blood target, not the, uh, mechanical target? Yeah, sure, absolutely. Okay. Cool. Um, then Hedwig goes and deploys Alchemist Fire on said Minotaur. Nice. And keeps on flying. Alright, yeah, she drops it. Uh, cool. So give me a roll there. Okay. I think it's 2d6. I believe it is, and it, um, I believe it keeps on fire as long as he's there for a certain number of rounds. I think he needs a save, but yes. Oh, okay, yeah. But I'll look that up in a second. Okay, 2d6... Nine. Uh, nine. Yeah. So it. Uh, I. Th I think. I think that's enough. Like, even if the repeater wasn't done, uh, that's enough to to take it down. Down. Okay. And he takes, uh, nine damage. I've rolled a save of some type if he needs one. So you tell me. I'm looking it up um, right now. Yeah. Okay. Splash. Actually, I'll look that up. You tell me what Caven does. Oh. Okay. It's reflex save. Kaben yep. is shit. So he misses the save, so he is on fire. Yeah. Okay, um There's no I'm just gonna ask because I regret if I don't. There, is there any inclination of wh where this gnome landed? Um, I mean, he turned invisible. Not really. Right. Okay. There's not like a you can you big can splash use, of swamp. Something. Yeah, you can use a standard action to to make a survival check, but you won't be able to take attacks then. Yeah. So you can point him out to someone else if you so wish, if you make the check. Okay. But you won't be able to attack him yourself. Sure. Like, what's it? Well, it's not because he's going to move right away. He won't be able to do anything. Yeah. Okay. So, so mechanically, how this will work is you'll be able to locate where he's standing. Yeah. Within uh, one square if you do re really well. Or within two squares if you... Don't do that well, but hit another number. Yeah, that's fine. Um, At which point, people could fire into those squares to try and hit them. Yeah, um, Caven is just gonna hit uh, this Minotaur guy in front of uh, Nina and uh, Kendra. Okay, cool. Shoot, shoot at this Minotaur. Yeah. He's badly injured. Yeah, so... And Kendra's gone to town on him pretty good. Yeah, yep. I know. Um, Kendra I think... is also down. Yeah. Yeah, no. I'm shooting over her. Now. So I think yep. I have a fine shot. A rapid shot, too, just to uh, get some extra hits here. Sure. Um, so, first one on the Minotaur. Oof. <laughs> oh, here we go. Roll me a d20. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. No, you're fine. Okay. It's just a bad miss. Second hit, 25. That's a hit. Okay. It, flare, it flares with energy. Excellent. Um. Ooh, 19 damage. Oh, ooh, that's pretty good. 
hope he's still alive. Okay. Oh my god. But on the last cusp, arrow, 29, that's a th He's gotta be dead. Threat. So... That'd uh, be an epic way to end him. Yeah, roll that again. 29? It's a crit. Oh. <laughs> Alright. You're rolling a lot of dice without a big bonus. If you get all ones, it is possible that you don't kill him. Well, I think we're just gonna end it with a bang here, so... 3D, I don't know, 3 damage. Day. You kill him. Oh. Good. Okay, and then uh, Mizuti is going to double move. So so keep in mind, she can move and then cast a healing spell at 60 feet range. Oh, it's ranged? What? Yeah, so so her she's got Cure Wounds and she also has Healing Word, oh, which is right. a 60-foot range. It's less powerful of a heal. But it, it can stabilize or bring up your uh, your compatriots at range. Okay, she is going to healing word um, Kendra. Kendra? Cool. Give it a cast. Nice. Oh! Awesome. 13. So, Josh, if you want to add that back in, I think she's up at 6 or 7 oh, HP. Seven. Yeah. Oh, All right, I and I will off. deduct... Uh... Oh, and I'll fix that up in a second. Oops. Okay. okay. Lost the chain. There we go. Yeah, so it should be one point, Kev. There, so. Yeah, I missed it. By Down to six. There yeah. you go. Awesome. Okay, and that's uh, that's my turn. Awesome. Fun, Thea. And I so... think we'll get through this turn order, and then we'll, at the top, we'll break. Yeah, sounds good. Good night. So this gnome guy went invisible, and we could assume yep. he's going to fall to the ground? Uh, he was, yeah, he was falling at a strangely slow pace so he hit the ground last turn turned invisible and would have been able to otherwise do things wait wait did i hear with my... so that's my that's a question that yes i don't want to metagame it too hard and maybe i'll wait for my turn so sure i'll, I'll wait for my turn okay yeah, probing questions sorry so I did. I notice him looking like he was going to go in a certain direction, or did I s notice any rustling of branches going a certain way? Like I could see him running. So, so you can do the same thing Caben could have. You can do a perception or survival check, but it will take your standard action. You won't be able to attack. You can point him out to other people. Fuck! Because I wanted to cast a spell. Can I have Thea you can, do it? You can cast a spell in an area, but you're just going to have to pick an area. Can I have Thea do it? Uh, not from For where she is, no. No, Dang. not at all. What if she moves up 30 feet? <laughs> she uh, can see him then, then also, no. I have a feeling Damn I know it. what you're going to do, she, she she is, However, good. she is back and safe, which is where you wanted her. That's true. Alright, I am just gonna, uh, you know, take a shot in the dark and assume that he was running somewhere in this direction. So I am going to cast uh, Entangle, like, over here. So it's, uh... Uh, just draw out wherever you want to put the, the spell. It's a 40 foot radius. I'll roll a thing right now before I see where you put it, uh, and that will be his save. So, oh gosh. Uh, we'll start like. Oh god, I you... suck at these draw tools. But you said 40 feet? Yeah, 40 foot radius. Probably Damn. just center it on the. On the... Uh. You should center it. I don't think he'd be able to move more than 30 feet. He casts Keep a spell. in mind, I think it hits allies as well as enemies, doesn't it? It does. Well, he would have gotten, like... It. He would not have gotten that far away. I don't no? think he had... It's, he had... It's, it's, it's up to her. Yes, that's yeah, true. okay. That's true. Just we'll don't draw catch it, her. like, right here. One, two, three, four. Oh One, God. two, three, four... Oh, no, no, no. oh wait, it's that's, forty that's foot. That's diameter. Holy shit, We're talking. Huge. We're talking. Yeah, like, it's it. huge. Just it kidding. It's a giant spell. Uh. You'll probably oh get it. Oh my him. god. Just aim it correctly. Oh god, it's so far. It, it's I mean, going to take up like the entire area over here. 
if, like, if you're gonna hit yes. me with it, I'm happy if you want to hit me with it. I just want—I want to do it so that it's like the boundaries of touching allies. Who? If you put it there, does that make sense, Travis? I mean, did you, you don't know pay, where I am. You, you no. can't pay attention to that one. Yeah, you don't know where I am. You don't know where Durian is. Oh, I don't know. Oh, okay. You have well, no idea I, where he is. Well, I would have put it so that it was, like, on the boundary of where these baddies are. Yep. So that's, I think that's going to catch Durian, but it's going to catch all Wherever. three of the hobgoblins as well. That is not going to catch me. Like. That's 45 feet. If that's, the, if okay. that's. But then it's I not going to catch, catch the them. hobgoblins I wanted below to catch him. them. Yep. It's just really hard to draw and put things okay, on the map. So if like, you want to catch oh. the hobgoblins at the bottom, you're probably looking about there. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just gonna start. Yeah. Like right here. So Rip. so to be fair, Jimmy, she can't see you. No, I know. Rip. I wish there was a way yeah. you can make things invisible to certain players and not others. Ah, uh, whatever. You, uh, you can as a DM. That's the only problem is you can't do it. Some, some bullshit like that. It's really fucking big. Okay. It's hard yeah. to draw on this. So so I think I think you're gonna catch the three hobgoblins, but also Durian. So. Uh, if you can give me a save, Durian, and uh, do you want to say how this works? Um, so all the grass and weeds and brush are, are kind of coming to life and coming up out of the ground and twisting around your ankles and your legs and, and kind of pulling you down to hold you in place uh, to entangle you. So you can try and break free and move half of your normal speed by using a full round action to make a DC 20 strength check or a DC 20 escape artist check. Um, and then uh, a creature that succeeds on a reflex save is not entangled. So you make a reflex save first. Mm-hmm. No diameter. That's right. It's not that, radius. That little shit yep. would not yeah, be strong. Um, so for the thing, it would have to be where that purple mark is. Read central. So what's the check? What's what's my save? Um, so uh, you make a reflex save. Wait, what? Strength or escape artist, right? No, no, yeah. it's a reflex save. So it's a reflex save thing. versus oh, I'm sorry. my I'm sorry. thing, which is fifteen. My DC save is fifteen. Yep. I, so I so the the two at the bottom fail. The one at the top succeeds. It's all up to Durian at this point. I think 21. I succeed. All right. Twenty one. Yeah, so you pass. No. You are not entangled, but you're in the area. So I will get. I'll have to retest if I stay in the area. Yep. Okay. Well, this is okay. Uh, one. Yeah, you can use a, a full round action to use the uh, strength check or escape artist check to move half your speed, and break free. Could have caught right. So that's, uh, that's I all I'm going to do. I think we probably did. Do I know if I got the guy in there? Um, I do I, don't do I think any... you would. Okay. Like, I wouldn't know or I wouldn't hear? Or... I th- you you don't just know as the spellcaster how many no, people... No, but I'm, you... I'm asking, like, is it... Can I tell? Is this Does she see a lot of weeds moving? Whatever. Yeah, you could make a perception check on your next turn. Okay. Just Thank you. It, it would be the same thing for Durian. They can't see if he's caught or not. Unless oh, they take do, some time uh, to look around. I didn't do anything for Thea. But she's going to sure. attack uh, yep. this one twice because it's close. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. First attack, 20, not natural. Second one, 27. I'm pretty sure they both hit. Hit, hit. Six, and then 11. He's so dead. 17 damage. All right, perfect. She saw that as her follow-up and was like, pink, pink. Nice. So, Durian, you're in this area. Do they make the save on your turn or the start of theirs, Alice? Uh... Wait, I just saved. I don't have to save again immediately. I, I want to it... move. I think it's the start of either the people who are in the area, the start of their turn, or the start of... He turned of... on your turn. Okay. My turn. It's on on my your turn. turn. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So, Durian, you can get out of this, if you so wish. No. So, I see... I recognize this spell, don't I? I see roughly... I felt the things grabbing at me. I can... 
Yeah, you can see these see plants coming up. Too. Yeah. Okay. So um, here's, and they're... here's what I want to know. The thing, the guy was falling, and he, the gob, the, the goblin, the gnome, no. and he went invisible in midair. Mm-hmm. So not to metagame it too hard, but I would know he couldn't move very far upon landing. I can't answer that question. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, I see roughly what you can happened. make whatever assumptions you want. Yeah. I think he probably Durian, upon seeing all this, sees that there's a lot of land covered. Uh, like, gives a quick glance around, sees that this entangle spell's been cast, but also imagines that if he was retreating, he would have retreated this way anyway. So, I cast Glitter Dust. Dang it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Right on that dude. Right around Not there. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So I mean, you can. It means I'm going to be stuck now and visible, but. So you can move after casting. Don't I have to? In order to move, it takes a full round action. Sorry, no, you you're. Untangle. If you're trapped, you're not trapped. You you made your save initially, which means you're not trapped by the plants. If you stay in the area, the next time Fawn's turn comes, you need to roll that again. So you can you can cast and then get out of the area. Oh, so no, much. no. In that case, I actually move. Okay. And then cast. Sure, absolutely. I want to be closer to this guy. So I go there. There's a dead chimera on the ground. <laughs> yeah, I know. It smells burnt. It smells like bacon. Um, it smells like burning. So it is a is it's ten so foot. Burning. Ten foot. Uh, like, it's a five by five square, with the middle square being the center of the target. Wait, wait. Also, it's, keep in mind this minute. No, no, it is creatures is and areas within ten foot radius spread. Mm-hmm. So radius is half of the square, or half of the circle. So by so that, the way R twenty does it, uh, no, you want one more on each side. Got it. So five by five. If you do the um four by four. Alt, no, sorry, not alt. Um, shift to snap to grid. If you just drag it, um, you can get like five by five pretty easy. Five by five or four by four? Five uh, by five, five, by five. Be Because um, our roll 20 doesn't take the middle square into consideration as the center. So, like that, okay. oh, hon, that's fine. So, okay. see, that's 10, that's 10, that's 10. So, I cast it. There's a slight area that he might have gotten away that way. But I cast it right there. Okay. Cool. So Ooh, my you cast I become visible there. right behind you, Nina. Yep. <laughs> uh, well, right um, in front of awesome. Me. So yeah. the the uh, hobgoblin fails his save. He is all glittery, and that's what happens. Uh. Um, well, actually, the save is for blinding. Everyone becomes glittery one way or the other, Travis. Ah. Yeah, I was going to say... The Hobgoblin <laughs> becomes glittery and blind. And that's what happens. Uh... <laughs> I'm, I'm taking screenshots, guys. Which I was... Uh, no, I know. We uh, threaded, I mean, you're, threaded, you're fine, and, Travis. threaded I just, the fucking I, needle. I liked how you, uh, you rolled the dice to entice us. <laughs> If it was gonna be, guys. if it was gonna be an issue, there was no reason to try and capture these guys because he was never gonna get down there, and these guys were gonna die quickly anyway. But yeah. like, yeah. I mean, he could have only gotten thirty feet away, so he's he's in this radius. Or he's stuck. Uh, okay. No, you know, I mean, he could have run towards us. Okay. But uh, turn to finish your turn. I mean, that's it. That's all I can do. Well, that's why Violet. Violet. Wasted. Spell. Does she do anything? No, she's got nothing left. I mean, she's got one spell slot, and she's not going to waste it on. Yeah. So she, she can so she... cast cantrips. So she can do like a little acid splash. I don't know if she's even close enough to anyone to do it. I don't know what the range is. Is that ranged? Just... I think it's sixty feet. Just so. splash something. Acid. No, she's not in range of anybody. Was that acid splash? Splash a random yep. area that the gnome might be. 
<laughs> I've, I've got it calculated <laughs> out. That's terrible. Um, so, so uh, cool. Um, I think the hop. She, she does. Go. She does retreat. She retreats. Actually, you know what? She goes and checks on Kendra. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, cool. So the hobgoblins, this one fires off an arrow at Kendra because she's almost dead. It's going to have to be real lucky. It is not. Um, yeah. So he misses, and then this one up top uh, is going to fire one off at the closest target, uh, which I think is Durian, actually. Um uh, he I think it's going, actually. Okay. Doesn't matter. It could be me. Eighty five. I'm, I'm fine with it. Yeah. Well, yeah. uh alright. So fires it off at Durian and uh does a twenty confirm a crit. What? Oh yes, yes, yes it does. I see what you're saying. Yes. Okay. Uh, he deals you 12 damage. Ouch. And we will start next session at the top of the order. <sighs> well then. Dang. Dag, yo. <sighs> can't, just, can't just roll up and fight a dragon, boys and lady. <laughs> They're going to have a few people in your way. Yeah. Yeah, that's that, fine. Not everyone just come off and shot. I, I'm not. I'm not mad with the thing. It's just been a. It's two sessions where we have to finish in the middle of battle, which is fine. Mm -hmm. just, I want to just antsy to finish it, but we got time constraints. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think it's a wrap for tonight. Uh, Twitch, thanks for tuning in. If you did, or if you're on YouTube, thanks for watching. Um, if you uh, like what you watch in here, you can check out our or follow our channel here. We play Monday nights. And we also upload on a uh, linked YouTube. I think the link's down below. Um, and I think we're we're winding it down. We've only got a couple sessions left um, coming up. But if well, you hopefully want, it's by the end of the month. <laughs> we'll, we'll figure something out. Yeah, we'll we'll work we'll, on it. Yeah, we'll work we'll work on our schedule. But uh, but yeah, uh, check us out on YouTube. Follow us. Subscribe. All that jazz. And um, thanks so much for watching. Maybe you should play some D and D on the weekend. Um, we had someone asking in chat about DM stuff, and he was, uh, it's pretty fun. Anyways, um, that's it for yeah. tonight. Hope you had fun watching, and we'll catch you next week. Bye.